Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. Happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitag sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at Mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Mm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding a mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck.
I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. W witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, I them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. 
Anyone else here, besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Grand's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay. I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gran's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Oh, kids are so sweet. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone! Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Found you. You can stop hiding. No fair. I'm supposed to win.
I can see you. Found me. Found you. You can stop hiding. How'd you find me? Yes, that's everyone. Found you all. You don't play right. But we'll help. Come on, let's talk to the others by the cottage. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once... When we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed, like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Leave my pot down by the bird door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you.
Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid, not gonna hurt anyone.
Stay close to me. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> 